All right. Hello, everyone. So this is Dr. Tushar Mehta, and now we'll be discussing the orthopedic questions from FMG CBT Jan 2024. The first question: Identify the following X-ray and mark the correct diagnosis in the option C. Uh, first of all, you cannot mark the answer as osteosarcoma. I'll give you a very simple reason because to call it an osteosarcoma, you have to have a sun ray appearance. Well, I don't think you can see any sun ray appearance. Well, I don't think that you can see any codeman triangle. <coughs> I know I don't think there is something like that I would not even call it Ewing sarcoma I'll tell you why because Ewing sarcoma will show you onion skin appearance it will show you onion peel appearance okay I don't think you can call it osteomyelitis because that would have given you a different picture answer is very clear cut giant cell tumor also what is called as osteoclastoma and what you have seen here is a very classical soap bubble appearance so what you are looking at right now is a very classical soap bubble appearance <coughs> all right so this is question number one let's talk about question number two which of the following is not true see first of all we are dealing with bilateral ctev also what is called as club foot now bilaterality is around 60 to 70 percent that's a fact see before i go further i have to tell you that most common cause for club foot is always idiopathic most common association is always neural tube defect in neural tube defect primarily we are talking about spina bifida okay now the first deformity to be corrected is equinus this is absolutely wrong this is wrong statement why because the first deformity to be corrected is cavus followed by varus followed by <coughs> equinus all right the first deformity to be corrected is cavus followed by varus followed by equinus which is the last one to be corrected equinus which is the most common to reoccur equinus primary bone of pathogenesis is talus this is absolutely this is true this is true this is false Ponsetti technique is used for 0 to 1 year of age. This is true. I think they have, must have asked not true. So not true means false. False means answer is B. The third, third question, cock up splint is used for. See, basically remember knuckle bender splint is used for ulnar palsy. Ankle foot orthosis is used for sciatic nerve palsy. Cock up splint is basically used for <coughs> radial nerve palsy. All right, so cock up splint is used for radial nerve palsy. Identify the clinical test shown in the image below. Now, this is a test that you are looking at. It is a test for carpal tunnel syndrome. That is what is called as Felon's test. All right, now there is a Durkan test also in which you press the median nerve with the thumb there is a tunnel sign also in which you tap so when you do this it is felon when you do this it is Durkan when you do this it is tunnel <coughs> all three are for carpal tunnel syndrome this is to check the potency of superficial palmar arch next question identify the following fracture see it's very simple this is radius this is Allah all right, which bone is fractured? Allah, where? Shaft. Where in the shaft? Proximal one third of the shaft. What has happened to the radial head? It is dislocated. So it is a clear cut Montegia fracture. Okay, I'll make it simple for you. So if you see a radius like this, if you see an Allah like this, so fracture of proximal one third of Allah shaft with radial head dislocation is Montegia. Fracture of shaft of radius at the junction of middle and distal one third with dear rigid dislocation is Galeazzi. If you put the same thing over here, it becomes reverse Galeazzi. Isolated fracture of shaft of ulna is what is called as nightstick. But if you have a fracture which is incomplete unicortical of radius, that is what is called as green stick. Okay, free stick nahi hai, ye green stick. Hai. So answer is Montegia. All right, I think that was the last question. Yes, so best wishes to all of you for your upcoming exam and uh, do well, study well, take care of yourself. Thank you. God bless.